Hello friends, welcome to Sankal Study Success Lectures. So, today I am going to explain about uh, non-homogeneous recurrence relations. How to solve the non-homogeneous recurrence relation for this particular question. Okay. So, here the particular question will be 3 n square minus 1 in the form. So, this is a particular concept in the fourth unit in discrete mathematics. Let us discuss this uh, problem. See here, I already explained many programs till now. So, um, this is a non-homogeneous recurrence relation, right? It is not a uh, normal linear homogeneous recurrence relation. How? Here, it is not is equal to 0 in the form, okay? If any function, if any given function is equal to 0, that is homogeneous, is equal to some any value, okay? Any constant or any n square or r to the power of n, any form. So, here f of n is any value, then it is a non-homogeneous recurrence relation. So, here the given recurrence relation is a n plus 2 minus 10 a n n plus 1 plus 21 a n equal to 3 n square minus 1. It is not equal to 0. So, it is not a ho non-homogeneous recurrence relation. Uh, it is not a homogeneous recurrence relation. It is a homogeneous recurrence relation. Okay. So, this is a given recurrence relation. So, what is the form for um, let us say this one is 1. What is the form for non-homogeneous recurrence relation? What is the solution? A n equal to the general solution is equal to A n to the power of H plus A n to the power of P. We should divide and uh, combine the values of these two. A n to the power of H plus A n to the power of P. So, let us solve the first homogeneous recurrence relation and then solve the particular value and then combine the these two values. Okay. So, what is the homogeneous recurrence relation here? To obtain a n uh, e to obtain this particular value, uh, we should substitute this entire value equal to 0. Okay. So, a n plus 2 minus 10 a n plus 1 plus 21 a n equal to what ma? 0. Okay. So, convert into our form. How you can convert? r to the power of n plus 2 minus 10 into r to the power of n plus 1 plus 21 into r to the power of n equal to 0. And the next step we have to divide with the smallest value. So, what is the smallest value here? r to the power of n. So, after dividing with r to the power of n, we will get r square minus 10 r plus 21 equal to 0. Okay? And find out the roots of this particular re, um, equation. Okay? So, what will be the roots? It should be like 7 3s are 21, 7 minus 7 minus uh, 3, 10, right? So, r minus 7 and r minus 3 will be the roots. So, r1 equal to 7 and r2 is equal to what is the value? 3. So, here what we got? Here we got distinct roots or repeated real roots? Distinct roots. Here we got distinct these two are distinct, right? Distinct real roots. Okay. So, now tell me what is the solution for distinct real roots? A n is equal to A into R 1 to the power of n plus B into R 2 to the power of n. Okay. So, therefore, A n is equal to what is the A value? Uh, we do not know A value. What is the R 1 value? R 1 value is 7. 7 to the power of n plus B into 3 to the power of n. Okay, so this is our second equation. Okay, let us say here a n to the power of this is the second equation because we need to combine no a n to the power of h and a n to the power of p and this is the third equation. Okay, now we need to find out the particular function. We have to calculate the particular function. So what is that particular function here? Particular function is particular function is a n to the power of p is equal to 3 n square minus 2, right? 3 n square minus 2. So, here we have a polynomial of degree 2, right? So, what is the polynomial of degree 2? So, solution for this particular equation is a n to the power of p equal to a 2 n square plus a 1 n plus a naught. Okay. 
this is the solution for this particular particular function ok you see i already explained for constant if f of n is equal to constant then the uh, solution will be a if a particular function is equal to n then the particular function the solution will be what a, a1 n plus a0 ok here f of n is equal to n square form ok for n square what is that a2 n square plus a1 n plus a0 ok these are all the formulas i already discussed in the previous class ok so here we need to calculate this particular function so let us say this is a fourth function in order to obtain the a2 and a1 and a0 values equation 4 substitute in the equation 1 so what is that equation 1 a n plus 2 minus 10 a n plus 1 plus 21 a n is equal to 3 n square minus 2 that is the first equation right so in order to obtain in order to obtain a2 a1 and a0 values values substitute substitute equation 4 in equation 1 ok so i write here the equation 1 what is that equation 1 a n plus 2 minus 10 a n plus 1 plus 21 a n equal to 3 n square minus 2 this is the equation 1 ok now substitute each and every uh, term here ok so this is the first term here n plus what is there n plus 2 is there ok so substitute this entire part in this particular term so that in the place of n we have to substitute n plus 2 so that we see a2 here n is there so here n is there here n plus 2 is there so substitute n plus 2 in the n so n plus 2 whole square plus a1 into here n is there here what is there n plus 2 is there so substitute n plus 2 and next one plus a naught a naught we do not have any uh, nth term so this is the first term first term is completed ok this term is completed now write on this term minus 10 into here n plus what is there n plus 1 is there so substitute where wherever the n is there substitute n plus 1 ok so 10 into a2 into n plus 1 whole square plus a1 into n plus 1 plus a naught ok so this term also completed now what is the term remaining plus 21 plus 21 into a n so in the place of n simply we have n so substitute directly a2 n square plus a1 n plus a naught equal to what is there in the left right hand part 3 n square minus 2 ok now solve the equation so here a plus b whole square formula a square plus 3 b plus b square so that what we get a2 into n square plus 2 to the 4 and 4 n 4 n plus 4 ok plus a 1 n plus a 1 2 that means 2 a 1 we can write 2 a 1 plus a naught ok this is the entire term this is the entire term minus 10 into and next what we have a 2 a 2 into n plus 1 whole square a plus b whole square again a square plus 2 ab plus b square so n square plus 2 n plus 1 ok plus a 1 into n plus a 1 plus a naught ok and next simply plus 21 into a 2 n square plus a 1 n plus a naught equal to 3 n square minus 2 now multiply with this, expand this form ok a 2 n square plus 4 a 2 n plus 4 a 2 and plus a 1 n plus 2 a 1 plus a naught minus 10 into what we have a 2 n square a 2 n square means what a 2 n square and next minus into plus means what ma plus so 10 to the 20 20 a 2 n minus into plus minus 10 a 2 minus 10 a 2 and next one this term is completed next minus into plus minus minus 10 a 1 minus 10 a 1 n minus 10 a 1 minus 10 a naught ok clear everyone minus 10 a 1 n 
minus 10 a1 minus 10 a0 plus and expand this form that is 21 a2 n square plus 21 a1 n plus 21 a0 is equal to 3 n square minus 2 ok now see here what are the constant terms what are the n square terms here Co common take let us take the common n square term here n square is there simply you can write a2 and where here n square is there minus 10 a2 right minus 10 a2 and anywhere in n square here n square is there plus 21 a2 so or all a2 terms only ok now take the n common n term common n terms so here n term is there 4 a2 4 a2 plus anywhere n here n is there a1 so next n where is the here n is there minus 20 a2 and anywhere n here n minus 10 a1 minus 10 a1 and plus uh, what we have 21 a1 ok 21 a1 n and next one remaining all the terms are constant terms only so what are the constant terms this, this is the constant term and this is the constant constant and this is a constant and this is a constant and constant and final this is the constant ok write down all the constant terms ok that is what plus 4a2 plus 2a1 plus a0 minus 10a2 minus 10a1 minus 10a0 minus 21a0 it is plus right it is plus plus 21 a naught ok so this is entire constant term is equal to what is the value 3 n square minus 2 ok now subtract the a2 minus 10 a2 what we have you see 21 plus 1 22 22 minus 10 12 right so 12 a2 plus 12 a2 so 12 a2 n square plus n into 4 a2 minus 20 a2 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 right so what is here 16 minus 20 plus 4 so n into minus 16 a2 and next plus a1 minus 10 a1 plus 21 a1 so 21 1 22 again 22 minus 10 22 minus 10 what we get so here we got 21 plus 1 22 22 minus 10 minus sorry plus 12 plus 12 a1 ok and the next one plus 4a2 minus 10a2 so anywhere no so minus 6a2 right minus 6a2 and next one 2a1 minus 10a1 minus 8a1 uh, there is no other a1 terms here it is 2a1 and this is 10a1 10 minus 2 8 and here the minus the symbol is greater than no so minus 8a1 and a naught 10 and 21 so it's simply 21 plus 1 22 22 minus 10 12 so plus 12 a naught equal to what is the 3 n square minus 2 ok now this is the terms we got right now what we have to equating the coefficients on both sides so here the n square term is there here n square term is there here nth term is there here nth term is not there ok here constant term is there here constant term is there right here 12 a 2 n square plus n into minus 16 a 2 plus 12 a 1 plus minus 6 a 2 minus 8 a 1 plus 12 a naught is equal to what is the value ma 3 n square minus 2 ok so here what we have to do equating coefficients on both sides so that we will get a2 and a1 and a0 values so here the n square term is what is this one this here n square term is what this one so 12 a2 12 a2 is equal to what is the value 3 so n square n square just coefficients ni maathra me miru uh, equating chain 12 a2 is equal to 3 so a2 is equal to what is the value 3 by 12 3 ones are 3 fours are so a2 value is equal to what 1 by 4 ok now equating the nth term so here nth term is not there so that is me that means what 0 right minus 6 a2 plus 12 a1 equal to 0 right minus 16 a2 so a2 value is what 1 by 4 right 1 by 4 so substitute 1 by 4 here 
प्लस ट्वेलव ए वन ईक्वल टू जीरो सो फोर वन जो फोर फोर जर माइनस फोर प्लस ट्वेलव ए वन ईक्वल टू जीरो इफ इन केस हियर माइनस फोर अटल तेम हो प्लस फोर हो सो ट्वेलव ए वन ईक्वल टू प्लस फोर सो हियर ए वन ईक्वल टू फोर बै ट्वेलव फोर बै ट्वेलव मीन फोर वन जो फोर थ्री जर दट मीन वाट वन बै थ्री सो हियर ए वन ईक्वल टू वन बै थ्री ओके अं डू दट लास्ट टर्म कॉन्स्टेंट टर्म मैनस् सिक्स ए टू मैनस् एट ए वन प्लस ट्वेलव ए नाट ईक्वल टू वाट द वैल्यू टू सो हियर मैनस् टू इज देर सो सब्स्यूट मैनस् टू ओके सो मैनस् सिक्स इंटू वाट द ए टू वैल्यू वन बै फोर मैनस् एट इंटू वाट द ए वन वैल्यू वन बै थ्री and finally we have 12a not equal to minus 2 so 2 3 a 2 2 a 4 so here we got minus 3 by 2 minus 8 by 3 plus 12a not equal to minus 2 so here we'll get 12a not equal to minus 2 plus 3 by 2 plus 8 by 3 okay So after that, twelve a not equal to equal to. So here the LCM is six. So one six zero minus two six two is a twelve and plus two three is a three three is a nine and plus three two is a six eight two is a sixteen. So from twelve a not is equal to minus twelve plus twenty five. Twenty five minus twelve thirteen thirteen by six or something. So a not is equal to what thirteen by six into one by twelve. So simply thirteen by seventy two. So here a not is equal to what is the value? Thirteen by seventy two. A one value one by three and a two value one by four. Okay, substitute all these values in where that particular equation a into the power of p, right? So here substitute all these values in equation four. So what is that equation four? A into the power of p equal to um, a one n square. Plus a two n plus a one n. So here a one is equal to what? One by four. One by four n square plus a two is equal to what? One by three. I think right. So uh, one by three n plus a naught. A naught is equal to what? Thirteen by seventy two. Okay now. So this is a a into the power of p. Now let us say this one is the fifth equation. Now combine third equation and fifth equation. Now combine. Third equation and fifth equation, right? So from this, what we get? A n. A n is equal to what is that? A n to the power of h plus a n to the power of p. So what is the a n to the power of h? Ma, a into the first root seven to the power of n plus b into three to the power of n plus one by four n square plus one by three into n plus thirteen by seventy two. Okay. so this is the answer like this you have to do if f of n if f of n equal to some n square term and constant term okay so here the n square term 3n square minus 2 okay so this is the non homogeneous recurrence relation solution let us discuss uh, some more examples in the next video hope you understand this one please like share and comment to subscribe to our channel sankal study success thank you so much for watching